Hi, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Chris Kuiper, and it was another hot and hazy day in the valley on Monday. Fresno got up to 105 on Monday, and our air quality was questionable to say the least. Forecast for Tuesday, as far as our air quality goes, we're still going to be in the healthy for sensitive lung types range there, although just barely. And of course, sensitive lung types are folks with COPD or asthma or some other respiratory issue. If you find yourself in that category, limit your outdoor exertion for uh, the day Tuesday. And, but we check out the uh, what's going on on the side picture and the source of all this smoke and haze is of course the Gifford fire which continues to burn here in southern San Luis Obispo County. Notice the smoke plume with the Gifford fire on Monday. It's not pushing into the San Joaquin Valley anymore. Now it's pushing down towards the south down towards uh, Santa Barbara County and offshore as well. So we're not pumping in additional smoke into the San Joaquin Valley anymore. Over the weekend we had this plume coming right on into the valley and all that smoke from the Gifford fire which is the largest fire in California for this year so far. Uh, was, was pumping into the valley and then just settling and no way to get it on out with high pressure just slamming it all down towards the surface. Now we're just dealing with the residual smoke uh, from the Gifford fire. We don't have any way to unfortunately flush it on out of the valley until we get some kind of wind on into the picture. Uh, let me show you the situation over on the coastline. This is a time lapse from near San Luis Obispo and boy, just smoky and hazy skies over there through the course of the day today. As we get a little into the afternoon hours, you can see the smoke just kind of advancing here towards the camera lens here in this fashion. And then we get towards later on in the afternoon and the smoke here at this uh, vantage point just kind of overwhelms the camera here in a little while here right about there and then it just turns looks almost like fog. This one is a little further inland here from the coast, so this is not fog. This is just the smoke and haze over there in San Luis Obispo County, so the air quality is uh, not good in some areas. And that's going to limit our viewing abilities for some of the major celestial events that we have going on here uh, over the next few days. Let me show you what I'm talking about. And first off, we can talk about the Perseid media shower, which peaks Tuesday night in the evening sky. If everything was flawless out there, you might see as many as 60 uh, shooting stars there per hour or so, or one per minute, roughly. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case for us in the San Joaquin Valley. Uh, first off, we're going to be competing with the nearly full moon. That's going to dampen some of the lesser uh, bright meteors out there. And then with all the usual pollution that we have, that would dampen a few more. Now we've got all that smoke for the Gifford fire out there as well. That's going to dampen things even further. So, boy, the uh, viewing abilities here for the uh, Percy and Media Shower Tuesday night, not good at all, unfortunately, for us in the San Joaquin Valley. If you want to see it, head to the hills, head to the mountains, get out of the smoke and haze here in the valley, get out of the light pollution of the valley as well. You'll have a better chance of seeing at least some uh, sh streaking and shooting stars out there. Okay, later on this weekend, we have something interesting going on in the morning sky, a little conjunction of planets here. We should be able to see uh, Venus, Jupiter, and the moon, and then Saturn a little bit off in the distance. This will be this weekend here. Hopefully by then, with high pressure weakening, getting a little bit more of an onshore wind here and flushing some of this bad air on out of the valley here, we may have a better chance of seeing this here this weekend. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. Uh, but for the time being, dealing with the air quality out there, it's not so good. But improving air quality as our temperatures cool down later on this week, that's our forecast and finally a good forecast that we can embrace.